at stop five of the Kroger Hometown Pickup Tour. My name is Freddie Magger from Kentucky Sports Radio. I'm joined by Travion Longmire, Corbin High School, four-star athlete uh, going to Kentucky. Travion, uh, first of all, this facility is the best that I've seen. Oh, yeah, it's outstanding. Have, explain to me what it's like to, to, to be, have all this one community to support mm -hmm. to the night one of the nicest facilities in high school football i mean to have all this just a blessing for the community and you know like places around here to sponsor us and give us nice things like this you just got to go out every game and every practice and give it your hundred percent yeah to thank those guys yeah absolutely uh, the big question that i have for you uh is uh root beer stand or kfc Root beer stand. Root beer they stand. got some good hot dogs. What, what's your go-to meal at the root beer stand? Probably either a hot dog or a burger. Hot some dog. fries, yeah. <laughs> uh, you, your recruiting services has you as an athlete. Yeah. You, know, you play receiver, DB. What position do you feel most comfortable with, and where do you think you'll play in college? Uh, I feel more comfortable with probably is receiver. You know, getting to learn all that position and – Learning all the plays, one. And uh, right now, that's what Kentucky has me as a receiver. Okay. Yeah. Um, I talked to Coach Jackson, the, the middle school coach mm -hmm. here at Corbin. Yeah. And one thing that uh, Bradley and I were talking about was just uh, one of the facilities, the community support. But he talked about the development of Corbin players through the middle school program and the high school. Oh, yeah. What has it been like to go through – uh, having the same brand, the same C on the mm -hmm. side of your helmet for middle school, then into high school. How was that transition for you? It was, I wouldn't say tough, but it was like a good experience for like middle schools moving up to high school because like you have a higher standard, you got to push yourself more. And it's, I think it's better. I think it makes that transition from middle schooler to like a mature middle teen to a young man. And I love it. I, have, I see a big transition from when I was in middle school to now. What would it be for you to win? And what would it mean to you to win a state championship as a senior at Corbin High School? Oh, it mean a lot. I, I would put my heart out to win a state championship before I went to the college level. What uh, what steps does, does your team need to take or make to go from uh, uh, where you were very competitive last year, mm -hmm. have been to the state championship game? Yeah. Uh, what what steps do you need to take as a team to finally bring another championship back to Corbin? Well, as a team whole, we need to just stay focused and do what we're, you know, coached to do. And I think that will take us a long way. You're now a senior. Uh, your huddle film, the title is One More Year. Yeah. Right? What is it like for Travion Longmire to be the leader of this football team? The expectation with, with community support. Mm -hmm comes expectation yeah, of yeah. you to perform. Right. How do you, how's that make you feel going into your senior year that you're going to have all eyes on you yeah. throughout the state because you're a Kentucky commit, because you're a four-star? But yeah. what's it feel like to you? Is that any pressure or added expectation? I mean, there's some pressure because I have to, like during practices, I have to go 100%. I can't lock around because that makes the younger people or my whole team be like, oh, you know, I can lock around since Travion's locking around. I got to stay at that high intensity, stay 100% in practice and game, stay focused like that. During the recruiting process, you were offered by programs all over the country. Yeah. What separated Kentucky for you? What, what made your, what was the uh, decision to make, to make your final call to be a Wildcat? What was, what was the most, what was, what were you most impressed about Kentucky? The family aspect of it. They called me every day, make sure I was doing all right, seeing what I was doing, and just keeping in touch. And whenever I first moved down here, uh, I was like, oh, Kentucky, there's just there's a huge school. I always want to go there. So I just put my mindset on, like, I want to go to Kentucky. Kentucky's always been that school I've wanted to go to. What's it like being recruited by Vince Merrill? Oh, I love that man to death. Dog. Yeah, he's a... He's a good guy. Yeah, he's funny and good guy. He, Like I said, he, he's, he was the one that stayed in touch with me every day, called me every day, see what I was doing. See, I was like, all right. Thinking about Vince, Vince, I know Vince, he's yeah. a friend of mine. Um, what you see now in recruiting is what's going to be for the next right. five years. Right, yeah. You know, he, he is who he is, mm -hmm. and, uh, just a tremendous person. What uh, what did that decision mean to your family when, 
when you committed to UK on Kentucky Sports Radio? Yeah, they was 100%, you know, with my commitment. They were, they, I mean, I could have picked another school and they went, went with me. But other than that, then they, my pap, he's always left Kentucky. He's been down here a lot of years. Um, and it meant a lot for him for me to yeah. pick Kentucky. And that, that means a lot with family. Yeah. I know yeah. when I did that, when I made the decision to go to Kentucky, my, I saw the, the pride that my family had, and that meant a lot to me. Yeah. What did it mean to the Corbin community? Because you have a lot of Kentucky fans in this area. Uh, some Tennessee, but but yeah. vast majority UK. Uh, how did how did you what what feedback did you get from this the Corbin community after you committed? Oh, everybody loved. It, it was with me with 100. percent My whole team is fired up and all that. I loved it. How do you look at Kentucky football as far as going into the future? Uh, I know the brand is the Big Blue Wall, the offensive mm -hmm. line, which is yeah. arguably the best in the country. Well, one of the, the best in the Southeastern Conference. Did that factor in your decision yeah. going to that offensive line is mm -hmm. going to be there? Yeah. And they're with the uh, passing offense now. Yeah. And every, I think everybody is wanting that, a passing offense and stuff like that. Yeah. Have you talked with Lee and Cohen, the new offensive coordinator? Yes, I have talked with him. And he's talked about uh, the offense is going to mm -hmm. be throwing the football yeah. down the field. Yeah. Did that get you more excited? Oh, yeah. I'm, try I'm trying to run and catch that ball. <laughs> <laughs> Going into your senior year, what are your expectations as far as what do you want to accomplish? We talked about the state championship. Yeah. But what else do you want to accomplish at Corbin Eisen? Uh, just to be, I want to be, this last year, I just want to be, you know, a good leader and someone to push other players on our team to be their best. And just, like you said, win that state championship. That would mean a lot because all the signage here at the facility, which is beautiful, by the way. Yeah has uh, the state championships, I think there's five, mm -hmm. and then there's a question mark. Yeah. Do you think you can get that done this year? Oh yeah, most, cert most certainly. Travion Longmire, I have heard that name for, <laughs> it seems like you've been in high school for 20 years. Yeah, it feels like it. Does it feel like that to yeah. you? Because you, you, I mean, when you came onto the scene, the recruiting scene, I mean, it was all over the place. Right. And everybody, man, Travion Longmire. I, I've heard your <laughs> name forever. Yeah. What is it like for you, because you are from so southern, southeast Kentucky, mm -hmm. uh, the 13th region area. Yeah. What's it mean to you for other players to be able to look at you and say, if he can do it, I can do it? Do you feel that pride as far as this part of the state is, hey, I worked my way into a scholarship at Kentucky, and you want you want to let others know that, hey, you can do that too? Yeah, I've... <laughs> I mean, I love it. I mean, I'll have some players from other schools text me like, yo, you know, how do you get fast? How do you do this? I'm just, you know, I just tell them you just got to work. I mean, I can do it. You can do it. And we all can do it. Yeah. You just got to have that mentality and that grind. Well, Travion, thanks for having us, man. Thank you for having me. Yeah, this, this <laughs> has been a blast. But, and thank you all for watching the, the Kroger Hometown Pickup Tour. Uh, you can now get your groceries at, at convenient locations across the Commonwealth. Just go to Kroger.com slash hometown uh, locations in Mount Vernon close to here mm -hmm. McKee close to here uh, all of Mount Olive uh, Georgetown a lot of locations in Kentucky so go to uh, Kroger.com slash hometown to see how you can more conveniently get your groceries and a huge thanks to Kroger for being a part of this tour coach Greer first of all thanks for opening up your facility and, and being so hospitable to Bradley and I, and this is a, just a beautiful indoor facility. Well, glad to have you guys. Uh, you know, we live in the community and in our school district, our, our board office, our board members, they, they love Corbin football, so, you know, we're, we're very fortunate. You know, you said, you, you mentioned a word there that, that is synonymous with Corbin High School football as community, and it's been that way for, for decades. Um, I talked to Coach Jackson, at a conference and when we spoke about there is a plan for Corbin High School football that starts when they're in middle school and you stick to that plan and and then you get the community support what does football high school football mean to Corbin High School well first of all the tradition the long long tradition of, of Corbin football back to the early 70s and and just that winning tradition and and uh, and we do have a plan, uh, and it starts at our district uh, uh, with our district office employees. Our superintendent, Dave Cox, does a great job of, of leading our, our school district. 
Uh, but it, with our, our middle school plan, you know, all parents, th they want to see their kids as a seventh grader to be at, at playing on the ninth grade, you know. But we, we got things in place. If you're seventh grader, you're playing seventh grade football. You're an eighth grader, you're going to play eighth grade football. And, and so you know, sometimes parents don't like that, but, but uh, it, it's been a good plan for us. It has allowed us to get really good numbers out for, for high school football. You know, last year we, we were 84, 85 players. Right now we're sitting at 81 players. Uh, our eighth grade team has 35 players. Uh, start practice on Monday. Our seventh grade is going to run 25 kids out playing. So it allows us to keep good numbers. And in our middle school, uh, Coach Jackson, you mentioned Coach Jackson, does a wonderful job, uh, a great man, and he teaches more than just the football. Right. So, uh, so we're, we're, we're really blessed. You know, you won a state championship as a player. What would it mean to you to win the state championship as a head coach at Corbin High School? Well, I mean, I was very fortunate in high school to be a part of two state championship teams, the 80 and 82 team. Uh, I was very fortunate to be a part of two state championship teams as an assistant coach, 91 at Bell County, and then 2008 at Bell County. And, uh, you know, uh, I don't think about state championships. I, I really, it's a day-to-day -to, -day to me and, and, and just really focusing on, on getting our young people better as a player and better as people and, and, and good people, community people in, 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 in our community. Uh, but if that happens, you know, um, I, I'm blessed whether I win one or not, but it, right. it, would, it would be nice. And, and when you go on the road, to play teams and and the Corbin Independent School District bus pulls up and you have Travion Longmire getting off that bus to play for you. That's got to feel kind of good. It, it does. Uh, Travion is a uh, is as talented and as much as God has blessed him as a player, uh, he is such. I mean, he, he's a, even a better young man. Uh, smiles all the time. I, I, I told uh, Travion, his aunt, back a couple of weeks ago, I said, listen, if he doesn't make it as a football player, he can be a model, yeah, you know? I mean, he, but he just smiles, but uh, Travion can run, yeah. and he's got, he's got that. Uh, the one thing that the people in Kentucky will see with Travion, as he gets to UK and he goes from 170, 175 pounds to 190, 195 pounds, and running a legit 4-4 four, four or a 4-5, you know, uh, he's got his days are better, you know, ahead of him. Talk about how, how is Travion, as far as in the weight room and the locker room, as a leader. Talk about him off the field. Well, I mean, Travion is a, uh, I guess he's like a magnet. Our, our players kind of gravitate to Travion. Uh, he is very level. He's not a, he's not, and I, I share this a lot, that we, everybody has players that are like a roller coaster. They're up one day, down the next day. A lot of times players don't like to be around that. Travion is always very level. Uh, what, what you guys seen today is what, what Travion is every day. Uh, but he is a good leader in our football program. Uh, he'll work extremely hard in practice. Uh, you don't have to uh, ask Travion or try to motivate Travion. He, he'll motivate himself and, and get it done. On the field, other than the speed that, that is documented, what are some of his strengths on the field? Well, which first, you know, the speed would be the, the biggest thing. Uh, Travion uh, is an encourager. He encourages his teammates. Uh, if something bad should happen, Travion will be one of the first ones there, picking them up, forget about it, let's go, we got, you know, keep keep driving. And uh, But, uh, you know, he plays with a lot of, he, he has fun, you know, and uh, and even even in a ball game, he doesn't get down on himself. If he drops a pass or something happens bad to him, I mean, he's right back going, ready to go. He, do, he doesn't get himself down. Well, Coach, thank you for, for again hosting us today. And, and I agree, Travion is just a fantastic young man. He's, yeah. he's a joy to talk with. Uh, good luck this season. Thank you. And, and congratulations just on this facility. Yeah. And uh, it's just, you know, that brand of Corbin High School football, you know, it, it, it impacted me as a sixth, seventh grader. Yeah. I was in awe of it, and still am, of how the community supports this program, supports you. And uh, best of luck this year, and thank you so much. Thank you, Freddie. Appreciate right, you. Brother.